wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord. This is Psalm 27, 14. Many of you probably have it memorized like some of the other verses we've seen in the Psalms. It's a message that we know pretty well and we have the verse memorized. I'm not sure we are thrilled with the message, maybe some more than others. So let's look at it for a minute. Wait. Waiting is something that we naturally do not enjoy, I think, most of us. I don't. And you can think of different areas of life or different times when you have to wait and you really don't want to. Grocery stores, banks, uh, doctor's offices, <clears throat> stoplights. <laughs> yeah, uh, just on the interstate. You know, sometimes you're made to wait. And we don't like it because it goes against our nature. Not our uh, God given in his image nature, but our sin nature. Before the fall, waiting on God for Adam and Eve was no more difficult than standing up or sitting down or doing anything else. It was part of the wonderful process of living with and enjoying God's presence. But when sin came and we became, quote unquote, the center of our lives and our purposes, our wills, our goals became the most important thing, then waiting became an enemy. And we are told to wait because of that. Uh, God tells us and teaches us to wait all through scripture in all kinds of ways. And it's specifically because it's not something we naturally enjoy doing. And yet we know that the great heroes of the faith, many of them were made to wait in spectacular ways. That's not really the right word, but in very dramatic uh, ways. And for a long time, sometimes think of Abraham and uh, Joseph, Moses, David, <laughs> just go down the list. And it's like, wow, that was a long time. That was a long time. And maybe, maybe you're waiting as well right now. And I'm not saying in those little day-to-day -day incidents, I'm thinking of those things for which you are praying or have been praying, maybe spiritual things, uh, people, situations, difficulties, obstacles, challenges you have that you have been waiting uh, on God in those areas for a long time and you don't like it and I don't like it. That, that's, that's many times the way it is. And yet the verse says, wait on the Lord, be of good courage. The idea there is to be strong, but it's, it's, it does have that positive hint to it. And I think that's something that we can all learn. We can all ask God to help us do. And that is not only wait, sometimes we don't have any choice, we have to wait, but to wait happily, to wait joyfully, confidently, to wait on God, knowing that even though it doesn't make sense at the moment, Waiting is the very best thing. That's the best thing that could happen is that we wait for God's timing or for his answer. And so God will make us wait through all of our lives. As far as I can tell, and I'm, I'm 62 now, and it doesn't show any signs of lessening. There are areas, there are things, there are prayer requests, there are people I'm praying for, there are situations that, yeah, sometimes in the wait, it doesn't look like God's doing anything. Uh, he is, he's always doing more than we think he's doing. But to learn to wait and to be of good courage, and then what happens when we step forward to wait properly, he shall strengthen thine heart. 
He will strengthen our heart. Our heart is the core of our being. We will be stronger because we waited. And how much better to wait in a good way, with good courage. How much better it is to see the Lord work after maybe years and years of praying, of working, and be able to say, well, thank you, Lord, for the grace to have waited, to have sown and to plow with a happy attitude, with, with joy and gratitude, because we know that God knows exactly what he's doing. Maybe you're waiting today for something. Uh, you probably are. And maybe naturally you would not be very excited about it. But ask God to give you the grace to be able to wait and enjoy the wait. Because he is the one making you wait. And he knows what he's doing. Let's end with a verse again. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage and he shall strengthen thine heart. Wait, I say, on the Lord.